next we move on to how do we derive this curve how do we develop this production possibility curve on the axis now we have a schedule before us it is showing us various possibilities of production how many units of cloth are we producing how many units of wheat are we producing and what is the opportunity cost so if we take a close look at point a we are producing 0 units of cloth and 15 units of wheat 0 units of cloth and 15 units of wheat at point b 1 unit of cloth and 14 units of wheat so point b gives us a combination wherein we are producing 14 units of wheat and 1 unit of cloth likewise at point e we are producing 5 units of wheat 5 units of wheat and 4 units of cloth 5 units of wheat and 4 units of cloth and finally at point f no units of wheat are produced only cloth is produced how many units 5 units so this is how we derive a production possibility curve these are the various combinations which gives these are the various combinations which give us the production possibility curve now this is the curve that sets the limit this is the curve that sets the limit for our production we cannot produce more than this why because the resources are limited we cannot go beyond this curve this is the production possibilities frontier but it is giving us various combinations it is giving us various possibilities it is giving us various combinations in which we can produce two goods now if we look at this column the opportunity cost column what is opportunity cost what do you mean by opportunity cost opportunity cost is also called as marginal rate of transformation or marginal rate of substitution we've learned that production possibilities curve is also called as transformation curve so this opportunity cost is also called as marginal rate of transformation or marginal rate of substitution wherein you are substitution wherein we are substituting one good with another good the production of one good is sacrificed for producing another good so let's see what is opportunity cost opportunity cost is the rate at which the producer gives up production of one good for another the rate at which the producer gives up the production of one good for another so if you take a close look at point b the producer is giving up one unit the producer is giving up one unit of wheat for producing one unit of cloth so what is the marginal rate of substitution here one because one unit of wheat is given up for one unit of cloth similarly at point e the producer is giving up four units of wheat for producing one unit of cloth so this is how we calculate how many units of wheat the producer is giving if we are at point e we see that producer is producing 5 units of wheat but when he was at point d he was producing 9 units so how many units has he given up for how do we calculate this 
the earlier possibility minus the new possibility the units produced at the earlier possibility minus the units produced currently at the new possibility so this gives the answer we move ahead it is expressed in terms of units of one good wheat in our example foregone to produce one additional unit of another good that is the cloth in, in our example so point a will never have opportunity cost or marginal transformation cost or marginal rate of substitution why because it does not have a combination to compare it does not have a combination above it that is our base combination that is where we start so which combination will have opportunity cost the next combination the b combination and how do we calculate opportunity cost at combination b it is change in number of units of wheat divided by change in number of units of cloth now how many units of wheat have been changed at point b 1 and how many units of cloth are changed at point b 1 so 1 divided by 1 is 1 that is our answer again let's move to point e how many units of wheat are sacrificed here how many units have been changed 9 minus 5 4 and how many units of cloth have been changed 1 so 4 divided by 1 is 4 so our opportunity cost at point e is 4 likewise we can calculate the opportunity cost for all the combinations